so hi everyone welcome to my channel uh, I have this design that I want to bling I bought this design off of Etsy uh, it's called me versus me and I'm going to put this on I believe a pink shirt so watch me as I bling this design the colors that I'm going to use today, I believe, would be um, crystal, and these are all SS10s, so crystal for the top main, and then I would use, I believe, um, Amethyst. No, I'm going to use dark CM for the verses. And then I would use the crystal AB for the small, for the other we. So, watch me bling this design. Um, I'm fairly new at this, but I've watched a lot of videos, and I think I can do this without too much of a problem. So, this is the crystal, maybe, and this is best to go ahead and circular method that makes the rhinestones fall in easier so oh those rhinestones are beautiful i love the bling on these yes yes i love this okay Now I see a lot of people, they tape off everything, um, all of the extra parts of the design until they're ready to blink with a different color. So I am, um, right now I'm just taking this on a chance that I can get this done without having to use too much of a tape. So let's see. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That looks pretty good. Falling into place. Well, let me turn my TV down. My, my TV is overpowering everything. Sorry about that. I had to go ahead and get um, get the rhinestone template, the mask that I would need once I brush these rhinestones into place. So I'm going to move these over on the side here. Okay. Then I have my little tool here to pick up the rhinestone to place in any that I missed.
I love this crystal. Okay, let me run my fingers over this design to see if any if there's any loose rhinestones. Make sure they're all in place. Okay, feels pretty good. Oh, I didn't put a mask on the on the V, so let's go ahead and take that off. I don't need that on there. I covered up the S, but didn't cover the V. So let's move that. I'm glad I caught that. Okay, there. All right, so got that. And so let me go ahead and move the excess stones that I'm not going to use right now. Oh, I hope I don't lose these on the floor here. I'm trying my best not to. Okay, that's pretty good. Very good. Okay. Hmm. Dropped a couple, but I can get those. Yeah, couple there. Okay, very good. So I'm going to try and do this put my color in here without messing anything up. So, because I'm, I want to try and press this all at the same time or without having to do two or three presses. So let's see. All right. Seem to be falling pretty good. Now I see a lot of people uh, would bling each color separately. And um, I do too. I, I bought another design off of Etsy and I that's what I did because I was afraid that I would mix the stones up and then it would be too much of a hassle to separate them so I cut each um, part of the design separately but this seemed to be falling into place without too much of a problem so let's see This here is um, dark cyan that I'm using. Now, I don't know how this is going to look on a pink shirt, but I'm going to try it because I have a pink shirt that I want to wear. 
And so I'm going to try this on a pink shirt and see how it looks. Um, I don't have a, what was that? Hmm. Those stones are in there, but it don't, the holes look a little bit bigger than an SS10. Okay, so go ahead and get these put away. Okay. And I have a few here. mask is not going to be long enough to cover the whole design so I think that I would have to make this a two-part bling design so let's see if I can get this done without making a mess of the stones now once you once you commit to putting this down you cannot move it because from everything I saw all the videos I watched the the uh, stones will move so here goes oh I did that pretty good I think Let's see if the stones are uh, Let's see if the stones stick to it. Okay. All right, I'm holding my breath here. Let's see. And they said to pull this back gently. Okay. Oh. The one stone did not. Okay, okay, no. Okay. All right. This is so stuck. To... Got stuck to the table here. Okay, there. All right. So I'm going to place the mask back on the cover sheet until I'm ready to place this on the uh, on my shirt. So, okay. So now I want to go ahead and hmm. I think I would, I think I would try my probably this crystal AB like I said earlier. I think I'm gonna go ahead with that, and I'm going to just block off this piece right here. Okay. All right, now let's try this. Uh, this is what, this is light amethyst. 
So. Let's see how this one brushes in. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Okay, it's brushing uh, pretty good, I think. This is the bottom part of the M. Okay. I don't know, these holes look much bigger than what I expected them to. Maybe it's just, um, maybe it's just me not knowing what the holes really should look like. Um, but the stones are fitting in very well, so. I guess I'm okay with this here. Let's go ahead and do that. And this little tool here has a uh, blue on the end. So it really helps with picking up the stray stones. So. All right. Fresh them pretty good. Now down here, I, I believe, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a couple colors at the bottom here, instead of just doing all amethyst. But I'm not sure what color I want to use yet, so let's see. So let me play around with this a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe some of the crystal AB at the bottom. So let me secure these stones first so that I don't lose these. There we go. And right in there. Just a few of the crystal ABs. Okay. 
right here. Let's see if I can brush this in with no problem. I might have to. Put some in manually. All right, so we have that. Okay. Oh, miss two right here. Oops, I just missed. Just pulled that out by mistake. So, all right, let's see. Which is, oh, well, some of them are coming out pretty easy. So, let me, let me be careful here how I play around with this. Okay. See, for some reason, they're coming out when I, um, when I try running my hand over them to make sure they're secure. So, okay. So I don't want to run my hand over them again because it looks like that makes them pop out, but I'm looking and I don't see any that's loose or might be sitting on top of an, each other. So I'm going to go ahead and put the masking tape on this. Okay. So I have my masking tape. And once again, I'm going to be once again, I'm going to go ahead and commit. Maybe I should have done this 
do this side first because that side there. Okay. So far, so good. I'm going to put the cover on there. All right. And now I'm going to walk over to my heat press. Now, this heat press is a little distance over, so you um, probably wouldn't see very close up what I'm doing here, but let's see if I can bring this a little closer. So I'm putting this piece of paper over my garment because this is spot here that's, um, I don't know what happened to it. It looked like something got stuck in it. Anyways, I don't want my shirt to get messed up. So I'm going to protect the shirt. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to press this for about 10 seconds to get the moisture out. And also, I'm going to use my lint remover. to help me and I'm not sure I'm using this um, t-shirt guide correctly but this is the way that I do it um, the couple times that I've used it this is what I did and um, it turned out not so bad so so let's see how this one turns out I might want to take this up just a little more. Okay, so I have my heat press set to, let me make sure this is um, straight. I have my heat press set to 178 degrees Celsius. 
some people say that they press their rhinestones at 320 and some people say 350 and um, degrees uh, Fahrenheit so I'm going to try the 178 Celsius which is right around um, the 350 Fahrenheit and I'm going to press this for 12 seconds. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's going to be a hot peel. Oh, and hopefully those rhinestones. Oh, beautiful. They did this stuff on. And I'm going to secure my mask because you can use this at home. You can use this a couple times. So I'm going to secure it. Because I'm going to, because I'm going to use this again. So... There. Okay. So now for second part of the design. Okay. And this one, I think I would like it to be just a little bit under just a little bit under the we hmm. okay so see that so that looks like Looks like it's lining up pretty good. So let's see. Okay, once again, I'm going to protect my shirt. So see, this is what I'm talking about. There's something there, something burnt there. And, um, I don't want that to get on my shirt. So, and it's only in that one spot. Okay, so this is the last press. So I'm going to adjust the, the time to 22 seconds. All right, and here we go. Yeah, this is a shirt that I made for myself uh, when me and uh, some of my grandkids went bowling. I made this shirt about at least a year ago and it's still holding up pretty good so There we go. We have we have crystal. We have uh, dark cyan. We have um, which one is crystal A B?
no no actually um, i take that back no this this is crystal this is dark cyan this is light amethyst and then mixed in here is the crystal ab and um i like the way it turned out so if you like this video please um like and subscribe and thank you for watching.